vision at the Literacy and Education Department is to see Papua New Guineans transformed by the Holy Spirit through reading the Bible in their languages. Our mission is to equip Papua New Guineans to train teachers who will teach adults and children to read and write in their languages and to encourage them to read the translated Word of God, becoming vibrant Christians impacting their nation. We organize and facilitate workshops to train and mentor trainers and teachers to do literacy work in multi-language projects. We liaise with the National Department of Education to assist educators with elementary curriculum. We study and document vernacular literacy work to offer concrete evidence of its benefits. And we challenge Papua New Guineans to promote vernacular education in rural communities. We need different kinds of literacy workers, trained educators who come to us with specializations in early childhood and primary education, and who teach English as a second or foreign language. Literacy specialists that we train to work alongside Bible translators and language development teams in rural communities. We need literacy and education consultants groomed to advise and mentor language teams in the Papua New Guinea context. Literacy work requires a variety of gifted people. Could you be one of those literacy workers God is calling to Papua New Guinea? We invite you to join us in this work of literacy and education, work that has eternal value. The thing that I have most enjoyed is working with um, international colleagues as well as my own national college from Papua New Guinea by way of sharing information and learning from each other. We've been help, uh, trying to work both to encourage reading fluency uh, among the children and the adults in their own language. Um, one of the ways that we've been trying to encourage this is through doing reading competitions. And so we listened and um, we uh, got to Jasper, who was one of the last ones. And we weren't sure how he was going to do because he was one of the smallest and the youngest, but we thought we'd uh, give him the opportunity. And he picks up the book and he reads the story confidently and everyone cheered. And it was one of those moments where everything that you've been working towards just comes to a point where you think, this is it. He has stood up and he has shown to his grandparents who helped him to read, to his teachers who helped him to read, that it's possible. And so now he can walk confidently, he can go to school confidently because reading is no longer a stumbling block for him. There are many, many ways that literacy in Ura has made a difference among the Uramit Bining people. I've had the privilege of seeing a generation of Uramit children learn to read and write in their vernacular. I've witnessed children reading Ura stories to their grandparents and seen the acknowledgement of grandparents' faces as they listen and even correct what is read in the story. Becoming literate is hard work and it takes some invested time but the benefits of preserving stories and songs and wisdom and culture in written form are continuing to be great motivators. We've seen this many times over among the Otomat Bining.